Hey viewers, now, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, it's been something like three months. I've just been so busy finishing up my last semester of school that I haven't had time to make any videos. But today I have something pretty cool for you. So this right here is a 5 watts uh, red laser that I built about a year ago. And I never got around to making a video, so I guess that this is the perfect time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now the heart of this build is a 5 watts uh, C-mount red laser diode that's inside this module right here. Now it took me a long time to find one of these diodes, but luckily a nice member of Laser Pointer Forms uh, sold me this diode, so I was able to build this laser. And then for a driver, I'm using a PLD 5000, which is a, a really nice laser driver. And then I have a, a 5 amp, uh, 5 volt power supply powering it up. So yeah, it's a pretty simple laser, but it's, it's really cool. Well, it seems that a couple of those connections broke while I was in storage, so I'm going to have to fix that. But unfortunately, I don't have access to a soldering iron right now, and I do not want to drive 20 miles to go get one. But luckily, I have some metal here and some tools, and a handy little torch, so hopefully I can find a way to fix it without a soldering iron. So it looks like that this is going to be my soldering iron. I just took this nail and sharpened the tip of it on a bench grinder. So I'm just going to heat it up with a torch, and then uh, try to melt solder with it. All right, here we go. Okay. Ooh, galvanized. Yummy. Sweet. There's the first connection. Alrighty, I've successfully made the connections. Now, for the viewers out there who know anything about laser diodes, uh, don't worry, these aren't connections going from the driver to the uh, laser diode, it's just from the power supply to the driver. So the diode will be safe in case these connections break. But yeah, let's start burning some things. Here's the laser powered up. Now, 5 watts of red isn't even as bright as, say, like 500 milliwatts of green, simply because our eyes aren't very uh, sensitive to the red wavelength. But still, it's not every day that you see a 5 watt red laser. Now if we look at the laser close to the aperture, we see that there's a very wide beam, which is fairly typical uh, from C-mount laser diodes. But there is a little bit of correction that's happening here. There's a fast axis collimator right on top of the laser diode. That way we can get into this square beam that you see here. Let's burn some paper. Here's a piece of black plastic. Now you'll probably notice that this laser doesn't burn as well as say a 5 watt blue laser and there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, one, the focal points on this red laser I can't get nearly as small as some of my best blue lasers. And then also blue light tends to absorb better in most materials compared to red light. But still it's a decent burner. And now something that you've probably all been waiting to see, my hand. So. You can see it illuminates my hand there. This doesn't even hurt. Oh, I take that back. That actually did hurt. But it doesn't, it takes a lot longer to, uh, it takes a lot longer to burn my skin because my flesh just, just scatters that light. Now, a blue laser would just torch the ever-living crap out of my skin. So, yeah. Because it's been a while since I posted my last video, I figured I'd give you all some updates on uh, my current plans for new projects. Now, right now, I'm finishing my bachelor's in chemistry and I'm about to start my PhD in optics uh, this fall at the uh, University of Rochester. But this summer I'm planning on doing some very big projects and I'm going to give you a little glimpse of what I'm going to do. Over the past few months I've collected a lot of items off eBay with some careful bidding and I've also done some reading on solid state laser theory. So here I picked up a massive 12 kilojoule 500 volt capacitor bank as well as this 2500 volt DC power supply, this uh, automotive ignition coil, another really nice ruby crystal, and then some flash lamps. And then I also have a nice reflective lasing cavity. So I'm hoping to build some very big pulse solid state lasers. As I've mentioned in a previous video, I'm planning on building a laser that's powered by explosives. And here I have a lot of chemicals to play with, in fact a lot more than you even see here. But unfortunately I'm still at college and I can't exactly do explosive experiments in my apartment. So I'm going to have to wait until the summer to do that. But yeah, be on the lookout for that. Now that's about it for this video, but before you go, I'd like you to check out my new Instagram account. So if you like pictures and videos of lasers, chemistry, explosives, uh, moths, and jujitsu, then yeah, feel free to check it out. But yeah, until the next time, stay safe and happy lazing.